they make you wear this helmet and honest I don't really know why oh, that's why ah the murder hole ah! Standing down here, the entrance to the Gobbins, which is this amazing cliff side walk right out around the coast. If you're doing the tour, they make you wear this helmet, and honest, I don't really know why. That's why. So this is the iconic tubular bridge which has been here since 100 years. A version of this has been here for 100 years and this is the most common selfie spot so I'll have to get everybody in for a group selfie. This platform 100 years ago was used by people to stand here and watch ships from Harland and Wolfe do sea trials out to sea and if you've been here and I think it was 1912 you would have seen Titanic going past out there. Isn't that pretty cool? Ooh. So if you're uh, claustrophobic or scared of the dark, you might want to turn back now. <laughs> There's crabs that live in here. That's us. We were down there, we're now up here. This is the viewing gallery at the very, very top of the Goblins. I'm not gonna tell you what I thought. I'm gonna get these guys who don't know that I'm gonna do this to tell you what they thought. Stunning, breathtaking. Absolutely amazing, loved it. It was excellent, first class. It was fantastic. Your camera is very close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> People are looking at me funny. Do visit the Goblins, make sure you come down to the visitor centre and have a look. It's got a really nice gift shop, cafe on the inside. And on the outside, it's got this uh, giant deck chair for your, you know, for the gram. To experience the Goblins, you need to be the same height as, uh... hey, Naomi, come here. Are you sure you're tall enough to go to the Goblins? Stephen! <laughs> Down at Carrick Fergus now, we're gonna go visit the castle in a bit, but before then, we're gonna go to the cafe. Ah, oh, come! <laughs> no trip to Carrick Fergus is complete without a visit to the castle. This is me, mate Cuthbert. Right, Cuthbert. Ooh, let's go and see what's in here. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. There's a hole. There's a hole. <gasps> I'm going to put the 360 camera out the hole. Hello. Hello. 
Ah, the murder hole. The castle equivalent of that little peephole in your door that you look through to see if you want to answer it or not. Except unlike today when you see an unwanted visitor, you simply duck down. Back then they trapped them and threw spears on them or covered them in boiling oil. There goes the boiling oil. Ah! Don't think you could get away with that today. Got to the cannon, and not a moment too soon because I've just spotted the Spanish Armada on the way. I think we got him. I found a crossbow. Game begin. Just listen to that river. Lovely. Tinkly water signs. Although now I'm regretting the coffee I had for breakfast. <laughs> this is Oakfield Glen and it's almost right in the middle of Carrick Fergus. It's just about a kilometre above the town centre. And if you head on up that way, you go into an open field and you cross way on up and it brings you up to Bashford's Land Wood. <laughs> If uh, you're into foraging at all, there's uh, quite a few opportunities here. I've seen blackberries, I've seen wild peas, I've seen nettles. Did you know you can eat nettles? Not sure I'd officially recommend it, but apparently they're really, really good for you. This hexagonal rock is the only remaining piece of the Carrick Fergus Causeway, made by the legendary Car Carrick Fergus giant Carrick Mc McCool. That may not be true. Ah, oh, I've been trying to get a shot of one of those butterflies all summer. These are the ones that are here on mass because of some big, I don't know, breeding event or something or other. They seem to really like these purple flowers. Like a butterfly or a buzzing bee, I am now going to flutter and buzz off to the next location. up at Woodburn Reservoir and Forest, up at the top of Carrick Fergus, huge forest, there's like a seven mile loop you can do around here, and it's got these one, two, three tiers of reservoirs, brilliant place to come for a walk, I got the bike with me, and if you get to this spot, there's a set of stairs right here, where you can do a rocky. End the day off, we've come up here to Noka and this massive monument, which you've probably seen from driving away down there. This was built to commemorate the soldiers from County Anderham that died during the First and Second World Wars. And when you come up here, you get these spectacular views all the way from Carrick Fergus to Belfast, and even, even on a dull evening like this, when you can't really see that much. And it's just a great place to come up to end the day. Ooh.